Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 17th of October. India's top court declines to legalize same-sex marriage. Pakistan looks to tame high inflation with fuel price cuts, says PM Kakkar. And Afghanistan's earthquake victims need urgent shelter, says UN aid coordinator. And now for all the details. India's Supreme Court on Tuesday said it cannot legalize same-sex marriages, with Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachut saying making such a law is the domain of the parliament. In its much awaited judgment, the top court said that the right to marriage is not a fundamental one. It added that it cannot strike down the provisions of the Special Marriage Act or read words differently while maintaining that homosexuality is not an urban or elite concept. The court ruling comes five years after a historic 2018 judgment when the Supreme Court scrapped a colonial era ban on gay sex. I think uh, this wasn't something that we didn't expect completely. We did we didn't know that there will be some directives issued by the Supreme Court and the directives have been very positive. Now it's left the ball on the court of the parliament, our parliamentarians. Well, PM Modi's government had earlier opposed the petitions, calling them urban elitist views, and already stated that Parliament is the right platform to debate and legislate on the matter. It had also said that such marriages are not comparable with the Indian family unit concept of a husband, a wife and children. There were some opportunities today, I believe, that have been pushed off to the legislatures, and the Central government has made their stand clear with regard to marriage. We hope that their committee will ensure that civil unions are recognized um, and that the concomitants of marriage are then brought in to law, at least with regard to civil unions. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday virtually inaugurated the Global Maritime India Summit 2023 in Mumbai and said that the day is not far when India will be among the top three global economies. PM Modi said that everyone is looking at India in the hope that it will lead the efforts for a new world order. He said the Indian economy is gathering more strength while the world is in the grip of an economic crisis. Underlying the importance of the maritime sector, he said, history bears witness that whenever India's maritime capability has been strong, the country and the world have benefited greatly from it. The three-day summit will discuss and deliberate key issues of the maritime sector, including ports of the future. Sathyo, Bharat un chuninda desho mein se ek hai, jin ke paas development, demography, democracy or demand ka aisa combination hai. Aise wakt, mein jab Bharat 2047 tak viksid Bharat honne ke laksh par aage bad raha hai. Aap ke liye ye sunahra moka hai. Mein vishwa bhar ke आप सभी निवेशकों को फिर आमंत्रित करता हूं कि आप भारत आएं और विकास के रास्ते पर हमारे साथ मिलकर चलें Moving on, the Pakistani government is looking to tame inflation with fuel price cuts and a price control mechanism, caretaker Prime Minister Anwar ul Haq Kakar said on Monday. The South Asian country is embarking on a tricky path to economic recovery under a caretaker government after a $3 billion US dollars loan program approved by the IMF in July averted a sovereign debt default, but with conditions that complicated efforts to control inflation. Effective Monday, the price of petrol dropped by 40 Pakistani rupees, while diesel cost fell by 15 rupees, the finance ministry said, citing decrease in price in global markets. Pakistan's inflation rate had risen to 31.4% in September from 27.4% in August, primarily due to high fuel and energy prices. 
Analysts, however, expect the fuel price cut to be short-lived and ineffective at taming inflation. And crumbling infrastructure in Gilgit, Baltistan continues to afflict the lives of locals in the illegally occupied region, a report. The poor condition of roads and absence of proper education and healthcare facilities have continued to make life difficult for residents of Darkot in Gilgit, Baltistan. Locals say the authorities do not pay any heed to their request and their patience has given way after no hospitals, schools and basic facilities are in sight to be developed in near future. Main masail mein yaha ye ke pehla maashi hai. Zameen salab ka zat mein a gai hai. Phir ruzgar ke hawale se loog yaha se dur gilgit dousre areas mein ja ke jo hai mazdoori karte hai. Phir apne bal bachun ke yaha पालते हैं दूसरे लेवल पे यहाँ पे जो हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज न होने के बराबर है यहाँ एक डिस्पेंसरी वो है फर्स्ट एड पोस्ट वहाँ पे भी दवाई नायाब है मुख्तलिफ टाइम पे जो मसाइल आते हैं डेली गाड़ियाँ नहीं चल सकती हैं गाड़ी वालों के लिए भी मसाइल है तो ये सारी चीज़ें काफ़ी मुश्किल है और एजुकेशन के हवाले से मैंने गुजारिश की ना यहाँ ये लवर मिडिल तक उसके बाद हमारे बच्चे ज्यादातर घरों में रहते हैं पीपल ऑफ गिलगेट बाल्तिस्तान हैव बीन वेटिंग फॉर इयर्स नाउ फॉर अ बेटर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट वुड वर्क फॉर देयर डेवलपमेंट हाउएवर करप्शन एंड इग्नोरेंस हैव बिकम मेजर चैलेंजेस लीविंग द रीजंस फ्यूचर इन डार्क and Daniel Peter Andres, the acting UN humanitarian coordinator for Afghanistan on Monday said that the urgent need for the victims of earthquakes in the country is shelter. He said that there have been no earthquakes in Herat region for decades and housing that has been constructed there is not earthquake proof. For that reason, even if houses are not completely destroyed, people are afraid to go back to their homes. Since 7th of October, a series of potent quakes have jolted the area, burying families and leaving thousands homeless while winter approaches. More than 3,000 homes have been completely destroyed. The most urgent needs at this stage is really shelter because it's already cold at night. People stay in the open, as I mentioned. They are even if they have houses that are not completely destroyed, they will not go into these houses, but they're because they have fear for aftershocks. Meanwhile, worldwide aid organizations and charities are continuing to distribute relief to all the earthquake-affected villages. Afghanistan's healthcare system, reliant almost entirely on foreign aid, has faced crippling cuts in the two years since the Taliban took over. And the recent arrest of 27 fishermen from India's Tamil Nadu state by the Sri Lanka Navy for allegedly poaching in its territorial waters has once again brought the fishermen issue to the spotlight. Tamil Nadu CM MK Stalin on Monday urged the center to take immediate steps to get them freed. Members of fishermen's associations have also launched protests. This comes after 17 other fishermen detained earlier in September were released following the Indian government's intervention. India and Sri Lanka share an expansive oceanic border without any perceptible demarcation. Fishermen from both the countries frequently stray into each other's territory while netting their catch and end up in spending years in jail. Well, in the age of social media, the young generation's love for theatre plays has not faded in Kashmir Valley and the art form is playing a major role in keeping the mother tongue alive. Take a look. Theatre has been playing a major role to keep the mother language alive in India's Jammu and Kashmir and has been attracting a lot of youngsters. Recently, several theatre groups have been very active to showcase Kashmir's culture and highlight social issues through theatre. The performances are helping revive interest in Kashmiri literature and philosophy as young actors and directors try to bring out folk stories to the audience. अभी जो कल्चरल एकेडमी हमारी मतलब बार बार फेस्टिवल्स ऑर्गेनाइज करती है मोस्टली उसमें कश्मीरी प्लेज होते हैं कश्मीरी लैंग्वेज से रिलेटेड होते हैं और कुछ मतलब ऐसे ऐसे अल्फाज भी होते हैं जो कि हमें सीखने को मिलते हैं जो काफ़ी खूबसूरत होते हैं जिनको काफ़ी अच्छे से परोया जाता है और वो लफ्स जब हम सीखते हैं तो एक अच्छा सा सुकून मिलता है क्योंकि अगर हम देखें एक हम ही है शायद कश्मीरी लोग ही हैं जो अपनी मदर टंग को भुला रहे हैं 
Kashmir Valley has produced a good number of theatre artists and presently many senior artists are helping younger generation in keeping the tradition alive. मतलब शौरा हजरत अब नई जनरेशन आगे आ रही है दिल खुश होता है नए एक्टर्स आते हैं नए डायरेक्टर्स आते हैं तो वो ले दे के तो जबान की फाइनली खिदमत होती है Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India